Rahim. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Uh, today we are going to study a grammar lesson. A grammar lesson in unit, unit seven, lesson four. Please open your series book on page number 58 because you are going to answer some exercises in your series book, page number 58. In the grammar lesson today, we are going to study relative clauses, defining and non-defining clause. What does it mean? This is what we are going to study today. And then uh, you can uh, go to grammar reference on page 100 if you want to have more information and more examples. The relative pronouns you studied before, who, that, which, whose, when, where, whom, and many more, uh, these are relative pronouns. They are used to join sentences together. Let's start with uh, this simple exercise. I choose the correct answer. Please read and I choose the correct one that best completes the sentence. Kareem is always ready. Okay, Kareem. Yes. Uh, wait, uh, it depends. Yes, it depends on the speed of the net. Uh, I'm going to wait. Wait and it will appear. Okay, Kareem, is it clear? No. Okay, waiting. Uh, who has seen it? It's clear. It's clear. Okay. Uh. Kareem, is it clear now? Yes, yes. I didn't okay, enjoy. Kareem. I didn't enjoy the the movie. Uh, which I watched yesterday. Good. So, which four things or animals? Thank you so much. Second one. I choose the correct answer here. This is what this conjunctions for contrast or cause and effect. Cause and result. Is that clear? Yes. Mohammed uh, yes. Majdi? Yes, yes. Yes, Mohammed Majdi. Uh, the judge sent her uh, to person who that uh, fact that uh, she had very small children. Uh, Despite, however, though, because the judge sent to her uh, to person the fact is that she had very small children. Over, uh, because. Because because the fact is that she had very small children, so the judge sent to her to person. No, so the vice versa, the opposite is right. Yes, Atiyah. The judge sent her to prison despite the fact that she had very small children. Despite. Yes, despite the fact. Yeah, and the court, the Arsala decision, on the basis of the fact that she had very small children, not because of Muhammad, there is no reason. Because here there is an opposite. The opposite in the first place is the opposite result or bad result. Okay, next exercise here. When, who, who's, or that? Muhammad Maher Garbiya. I can remember the day when we met. Yes, when. Can when remember. for time. Very good. Thank you, Muhammad Maher. Okay, please pay attention to me here. This table or this diagram explains the different use for uh, relative pronouns. But the relative pronouns are who, which, whose, whom, that, why, when, where. These are all the relative pronouns. We use who for people. The woman who called yesterday wants to buy the house. Who, let me go, people, or bad verb. Which, which is used for things and animals. Did you see the letter which came today? Which refers to the letter, it's something. I love the bobby, which is jumping at the kitchen, which refers to the bobby. Bobby is a small dog, so which is used for things and animals. We use whose for positions of people and animals. Whose comes between a noun and a noun, two nouns. He's a man whose opinion I respect. Opinion 
refers to the man, his opinion. يبقى لازم who's been اسمين. Opinion refers to the man. She is the student whose handwriting is the best in my class. Whose handwriting? The student's handwriting. So handwriting refers to the student. يبقى who's لازم تقع بين اسمين. مالك ومملوك. في علاقة ما بينهم. This is Muhammad Majdi, whose father is a teacher. This is Yusuf, whose father is a doctor. So whose refers to a uh, position. It comes in between two nouns. We use whom for people like who. But when the person is the object, not the subject, whom is used for people when the person is the object of the verb in the second sentence the author whom you criticized in your review has written a letter in reply here i deleted him the author whom you criticized asl gumla the author you criticized him in your review has written a letter in a, in a reply. Whom you can apply people about the subject and verb. In informal language, for legal, legal, غير رسمية, ممكن نستخدم who. But informal, you should use whom for people if the person is object. But who, if the person is object, who is, must be followed with a verb? Who must be followed with a subject and a verb? What about that? That is used for people. That is used for things. That is used for animals. We can use that instead of who, instead of which, instead of whom. The girl that we met in France has sent us a card. The girl who we met in France has sent us a card. We live in a ground floor flat that backs onto a busy street. We live in a ground floor flat which backs onto a busy street. Do you like the cat that is sleeping underneath the table? Do you like the cat? which is sleeping underneath the table. So we can use that instead of who, instead of which, instead of whom. What about why? Why refers to reason. Do you know the reason why that the market is closed today? We put a question mark here because do you know? We do not hear why the market is. We don't say why is the market. We use when refers uh, for time. The day when, the time when, the day when, the time when the concert takes place is Saturday. Today is the national day when Kuwait is free. Today is the national day when people March in the streets carrying Kuwait's flags. What about where? We use where for places. This is the house where my son was born. The house is a place. My son was born in this house. My son was born there. So I deleted there. I deleted in the house. We can use which? Instead of where for places, but you must have a preposition in, on, from, at, any preposition. How can we use which in this sentence? This is the house in which my son was born. This is the house which my son was born in. Okay. Now, let's learn some of the new vocabulary before doing the, the exercises. I'm sorry. Uh, here, let's define 
uh, the defining clause and non-defining clause before learning the new vocabulary. Defining clause, يعني جملة وصلية محددة. Non-defining clause, جملة وصلية غير محددة. يعني جملة اعتراضية ملاش لازمة. Defining clause, we don't use commas. الجملة المحددة ما يستخدمش فيها فصلات. We don't use commas here. There are no commas here. But here we have two commas. In non, uh, sorry, in defining clause, we don't use commas because they give necessary information. Dig معلومة ضرورية. Essential to distinguish which thing or person we are talking about. علينا بتعطي معلومة ضرورية أو إضافية بتحدد أي شخص إحنا نتكلم عنه. I called my brother who lives in Ontario. Here there are no commas because I have more than one brother. And I called, I phoned my brother who lives in Ontario. عملوا حطت فصلة هنا. My brother who lives in Ontario is older. معناه هنا, this is uh, extra information. This is not necessary. We can delete this uh, non-defining clause. ممكن تحذفها. My brother is older. It means I have only one brother. And I'm just mentioning that he lives in Ontario. يبقى الجملة أما يكون ما فيش فصل معناها أن أنت إيه آه بتعطي جملة ضرورية معلومة مهمة آه معلومة آه ضرورية ومهمة أساسية أما الجملة فيها فصلات معناها مو بتحذفها دي جملة اعتراضية ملاش لازمة بس بتزيد معلومة بتدي معلومة زيادة extra information we can use that In the city of who or which? The, في الجملة ال defining الجملة المحددة ممكن نستخدم ذات في مكان which أو مكان who. ممكن أقول الجملة دي. I called my brother that lives in Ontario. That's the mug. Mug means carpet. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, rug. That's the mug. Mug uh, cup. That's the mug which I bought in Paris. That's the mug. That I bought in Paris. ممكن نستخدم which أو that في جملة defining. I didn't know the man who was there. I didn't know the man that was there. يبقى ممكن نستخدم that مكان who that أو which في الجملة المحددة. Relative pronouns can be omitted. بقول لك ال الضمائر الوصلية في the defining clause يمكن حذفها بشرط It must be followed with a subject or a verb. Do you like the song which I wrote? Do you like the song that I wrote? Do you like the song I wrote? Has that a which or that? Short imta. Let me give it to I wrote subject plus verb. That's the man who I like. That's the man that I like. That's the man I like. We can delete the relative pronoun if they are followed with a ver subject and verb. What about the non-defining? Non-defining clause, they come between commas because they give extra information, not necessary to distinguish which thing or person we are talking about. My brother who lives in Ontario is older. This is extra information. We can delete. Because I have only one brother. We cannot use that. We cannot use that instead of who or which. في الجملة الغير محددة والجملة اللي فيها فصلات ما أقدرش أستخدم that بدل من who or which. These bikes which cost a fortune are made in Japan. Don't say these bikes that cost a fortune are made in Japan. A relative pronouns cannot be omitted في الحالة دي الجملة اللي فيها فصلات ما أقدرش أحذف who or which we cannot omit who or which they introduced me to John who I liked immediately don't say I liked immediately let's learn the new vocabulary okay Uh, this is the difference between the sentence being demonstrate, 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 demonstrate. Demonstrate means explain, to show, 
that something is clear, to make something clear. So demonstrate means explain, demonstrate. The noun demonstration. Prominent. Prominent. Prominent is an adjective, means important, very important, well-known, essential, necessary. Prominent. Transatlantic. 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 Transatlantic is an adjective describing the journey, describing the trip, the, the voyage, the country, the place, the, the city. Transatlantic. Transatlantic crossing the Atlantic Ocean or relating to countries on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. Resident. 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 Resident, a person who lives somewhere permanently or on a long term basis. Resident. In Kuwait, uh, there are two peoples or there are two, uh, two classes. Kuwaiti citizens and residents. Kuwaiti citizens, people who uh, have got the uh, citizenship or the nationality, they are Kuwaitis. But Egyptians, uh, Syrians, uh, uh, Jordanians, uh, Saudis are residents. They are people who live somewhere permanently on a long term basis. So resident, a person, muqim, and the verb reside, reside, residential adjective. Half. Half is an uh, is an adjective, or, or it can be it can be a noun. The first half, second half, either of two equal periods of time into which a sports game or a performance is divided. So, in a football match or in a in any game, we have the first half and second half. Tension, tension, stress, tension, stress, worry. The city being uh, stretched, stretched tight. So, tension. Tension is a noun, means a stress or worry, and the adjective tense. Disappointing. Disappointing. Disappointing is an adjective describing the game, the match, the story, the film. Here, a fail, a fa failing to fulfill someone's hopes or expectations. Did you like the match, Ahmed? No, I didn't like the match. Uh, the match was disappointing. I didn't like it. I felt disappointed. So disappointing, the match, the game, the movie was disappointing. Zealous. Zealous. Zealous is an adjective describing the person having or showing passionate, enthusiastic. The audience, the spectators, the people were zealous. They were enthusiastic. They were very excited. Reveal. Reveal. Reveal is a verb to make previously unknown or secret information known to others. Look at the girl. She is revealing a secret to her friend. Reveal is a verb. She is telling a secret. Reveal. Potential. 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 Natural qualities or abilities that make may, they, that may be developed and lead to the future uh, success or usefulness. Potential can mean something which is possible, or it can mean a noun. So it's a noun or a, uh, or an adjective. Potential ability. Victory. 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 An act of defeating an enemy in a battle or game or competition. Victory. So uh, the relative clause is divided into two uh, two parts: defining clause and non-defining. Uh, defining clause give extra information, give essential information, and you don't use commas. Non uh, non-defining clause they no, uh, they give non-essential information, and we use commas. I'll never forget the day when I started working here. Uh, Mark who lived in Italy, invented the first radio. Here we have two commas because this is. Unnecessary information. We can delete this. Markney invented the first radio because we have only one Markney. Edison, we have only one Edison in history. 
Einstein. We have only one Einstein. Now, please open your sales book on this lesson. Lesson uh, four, uh, relative close. Find the relative close in three of the following things and underline them. Exercise one. You've got here A, B, C, and D. The first one is answered. You are going to underline the relative close. One of the sentences does not contain a relative close. The first one, John Lockie Bird, who was a Scotch engineer, invented the world's first working television system. Here we underline who was a Scotch engineer because it's a relative close. Who was a Scotch engineer? Second one, Ziad Hatim, underline the relative close. His early achievements, which demonstrated working television products, earned him a promotion place in the invention of television. Prominent, 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 prominent place in the invention of television, uh, which demonstrated working uh, television broadcasts. Excellent. Thank you. Mohammed Mahmoud Abtawab. C. Uh, C. In, uh, when he made uh, the first uh, translated uh, television, from the from London to New York. Yes, this is the, the relative close. Very good. Here, the last one. The last one. Do you uh, does it contain a relative close? Bird no. produced a live moving grayscale television image from reflected light. Does it contain a relative close? No. Uh, Faris? No, it doesn't contain. Yes, there is no who or where or what. Okay, very good. Now. We are going to uh, go back to exercise one to answer exercise two. Exercise two, answer these questions about sentence one, A and D. And which two sentences could we leave out the relative clause because they give us extra but unnecessary information about a person or thing? Then we have in the three sentences, A, B, C. In any sentence of this sentence, we can put the sentence in the sentence. أي جملتين ممكن نحذفهم relative close here A B C which one or which two يوسف عطية يوسف محمد عطية طيب يا شباب اللي نزل إيده نسمع كل اللي نزل إيده بس اللي جاوب يرفع إيده بس أوكي عبد الرحمن مصطفى a and B. Yes, very good. A and B here. A and B uh, give extra information. We can delete them. OK, in which sense do we need the relative close? Because it gives us necessary information about a person or thing. We cannot delete it. Mohammed Osama. Uh, B, uh, C. Just ask C. C. OK, good. OK, exercise three here. What's the difference in meaning between these two sentences here? Shev Gumaldi, one and two. My brother, who is a TV cameraman, lives in Kuwait City. My brother, who lives in Al Wafra, is a teacher. What's the difference in meaning? In which sense does the writer have only one brother, one or two? Yosef Sayyid. Uh, the first sentence uh, is uh, a non-defining sentence. Non-defining sentence. So what does it mean? Meaning, Yusuf, uh, what's the difference meaning? No. Does, the writer, uh, does the writer have one brother or more than one brother in one and two? Uh, he has uh, more than a brother. And which one? One or two? One. No. What's the Yusuf? What's Yusuf? And then why you told Yusuf in here in sentence number one, who is a TV cameraman? This is what this non-defining uh, because it gives unnecessary information. We can delete this relative clause. So. Now what I have to who is a TV cameraman? My brother lives in Kuwait City. It means I have only one brother. The writer has only one brother. I'm a There are no commas. So this is what this relative close 
gives defining uh, defining uh, information or uh, necessary information we cannot delete it the second sentence use it means my brother who lives in a law firm is a teacher i have or the writer has more than one brother and he's just talking about his brother who lives in a law firm okay is that clear yusuf yes it's clear to me okay so. next hi Hina. exercise number four you are going to complete these statements with relative clause which contain necessary information يعني عايزك تديني جملة ضرورية معلومات ضرورية يعني حدد عرف الشخص ده أو عرف الشيء ده a TV presenter an inventor a good radio program a good TV newsroom is someone is uh, something who or which كمل الجملة بجملة ضرورية معلومات أساسية حفلك who أو who's أو which أو where كمل بقى الجملة دي let's see Ahmed Haydar. A TV presenter is someone who introduces or hosts a television program. Very good. A TV uh, presenter is someone who reads the news. A TV presenter is someone who interviews people. A TV presenter is someone who works on a range of programs. Very good. B, an inventor whose should not be forgotten. al الذي لا يجب أن ينسى. Complete. Ahmed Majdi. Uh, an inventor whose uh, useful uh, inventions should uh, shouldn't be uh, forgotten. طيب هنا ما انت قلت هنا an inventor whose inventions لازم تكون جمل تامة. Useful inventions. Useful Whose inventions are useful. An inventor okay. whose inventions are useful should not be forgotten. Okay, محمد. عشان okay. تعدلها صح. An inventor whose inventions are useful should not be forgotten. An inventor whose inventions benefited us shouldn't be forgotten. An inventor whose potential was really realized should not be, should not be forgotten. هنا كلمة potential من كلمات جديدة. يقول لك المخترع الذي المخترع الذي قدرته واضحة أو مدرقة لا يجب أن ينسى. An inventor whose potential natural ability was realized shouldn't be forgotten. Oh, thank you. C, a good radio program is one which. First, yes, sir. Uh, attracts and uh, benefits us. A good radio program is one which attracts or benefits, attracts us. And benefits us. Yes, excellent. So, a good radio program is one which should include the latest news and the reports as well as entertainment. Very good, Faris. Thank you. D. A good TV newsroom is where? Al Ghurf al Akbariya. Kusm al Akbar. Kta al Akbar. Aw. Nakan li bifi nash al Akbariya. Complete. Hena where? Al Makan. Lower your hand, Muhammad Asama. لو سمحت نزل إليكم. Lower your hand, please. محمد ماهر. A good TV, a good TV new new room is where they present their TV pro. Very good. Yes. A good TV news room is where TV presenters read the authentic news or the latest news. Thanks so much. Now let's have an exercise uh, for the relative clause. You see here, uh, there are some uh, some people or some friends are watching a football match on TV, and they feel very excited and enthusiastic, zealous. You are going to read a story. Complete this story using who, where, whose, or which. I'll give you two minutes to read the story. Fill in using who, where, whose, or which. Who for people, where for place, whose for position, which for things and be, uh, things or animals. We can use which for places, but it uh, you must have a preposition in the second sentence. Let's see. 
let's see Muhammad Mustafa Abdul Ghaffar. Uh, on Saturday, I called over my friends who, li who live across the street to watch a football match. Very good. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Yus Mahmoud Chahata. Uh, the street to uh, to watch a football match. They brought with them a new friend, a new friend John, uh, who has been a new uh, resident in the town. Thank you. Who? Okay. Thank you. Next, Muhammad Hassan has been a new uh, resident in the uh, uh, town. Uh, which uh, we live in. Very good. Which... Thank you. And to my shabab, in the Gumla, the milk of Safam and Fusul, the Gulat for Alwer. And to all where for Gumla, John, who has been a new resident in the John. town where? Where? Uh, by, by the Ritik Inn. Ah. By the Ritik Inn. Nazvi, I use it. Nazvi Inn. Keep Anna. John, who has been a new resident in the town where we live. In the town where we live, I'm a trauma fee in Southern in a kilmet witch. Okay, thank you. Yusuf. Uh, Yusuf Four. Yes, teacher. Uh, we all wore t shirts which represented our favorite football team. Very good. Brand potato crisps. Thank you. Muad Muhammad. Uh, our team uh, felt a lot of uh, pressure and uh, tension, which was a little disappointing. Uh, Very good. Thank you. Abdurrahman Mustafa. Um, the team's tribution. Captain. Uh, emotions. Captain emotions. Captain Emotions. Uh, who's? Who's? If I have you, Abdurrahman, on the Kilmet who's for position, it comes between two nouns. The team's captain, who's emotions. Okay? Thank you. Yes, let's see. Ahmad Haider. Uh, my friends and I, uh, who were uh, yes. during the whole time. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Now let's have a spoken exercise or a speaking exercise to practice speaking skill. Now you are going to discuss these questions. Please listen to me. I'm going to read the question. All the class, lower your hand now. Lower your hand and raise your hand again. If you want to answer these questions, you should give full meaningful sense. Don't uh, give me short answers, okay? Do you like watching football matches? Why or why not? What do you think are the advantages and disadvantages of watching a sport on TV instead of watching it live? How do you think different sports have been affected by television scheduling? So you are you are going to answer if you like your f watching football matches or not, and you have to give me the reason. Second one, uh, some people. Uh, some people uh, enjoy watching sport on TV instead of watching it live. You have to mention the reasons. Uh, Muhammad Assam, please turn off your mic. Muhammad Assam, off your mic. Thank you. Muhammad Assam, turn off your mic, please. Uh, some people uh, enjoy watching football match on on TV instead of watching it uh, at the stadium live. Uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages? And how do you think different sports have been affected by television scheduling? Here, uh, sometimes you, you know, it's very difficult to uh, to see a football match because they, they, you have another match at the same time or uh, there is a, a different time zone. If there is a football match between Kuwait and Japan in Japan and they, uh, they are watching the football match at 8 uh, in the evening and it's very late uh, in Kuwait at night, uh, so, uh, different sports have been affecting by television scheduling. How? Let's listen to the ad.
بهادرك استاذ بس ما كان معلق بس اوكي ار يو ريدي يس اي لايك واتشينج فوتبول ماتش بيكوز ذي ميك مي فيل اكسايتد اند اي لايك واتشينج ماي فيفوريت تيم بيكوز ذي ميك مي هابي وين ذي وين اولسو وين اي واتش ات وين اي واتش ات لايف they uh, you feel the the, the, the atmosphere you feel the atmosphere yeah, the when atmosphere. you are live yeah. in a stadium uh but uh, when you watch it in tv on on tv uh, it's more safer because when you go to the stadium there are thousands of people Thank you so much, Aziad. What are the advantages of watching uh, watching sports on TV? Advantages? Sometimes, yes, uh, yes. Of course, matches. Uh, sometimes it's difficult for you to to buy a ticket uh, because it's expensive uh, or because it's uh, it's in another city. So uh, you like watching sport on TV? Why? Because it's uh, safer than the stadium. Because you can uh, in stadium there are thousands of people and there are diseases you don't know about it. Yes. Uh, and home, it's uh, you can uh, get the food you want anytime. You can go to the bathroom if you want. Uh, so you also, feel relaxed. You feel comfortable. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, you are sitting in a quiet place. Uh, yeah, with your you family. Enjoy. Yes. You enjoy watching uh, the match yes. from from what having uh, having a good quality vision, uh, you uh, because yeah. you are uh, got a uh, smart TV and you can watch uh, the repeated repeated scenes or repeated uh, actions. Yes. Okay, good. It's of course it's cheaper, uh, it's quieter. Uh, you feel relaxed. Thank you. Uh, let's listen to Mohammed Sama. What do you think? Uh, uh, I like uh, watching a football match because it's very uh, it's more exciting, and uh, football match uh, is the best uh, sport uh, is the best sport in our uh, in different uh, sports, um, and it has. Uh, Uh, and it has com- uh, combat uh, in in the people uh, in our people. Uh. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, Jibran, uh Sometimes you like you like watching football matches on sport uh, on the on TV. What are the disadvantages of watching uh, football matches on TV instead of watching it live at the stadium? Uh, you get just. Uh... Uh, less resolution if you don't have a good TV. Yes. Uh, and you might uh, have uh, a low quality sound system, so it uh, it's a uh, makes it a poor uh, quality watching experience. Yes. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Okay. Let's have a look here at uh, some of the model answers here. Yes. I like watching football matches because it's my favorite sport. I enjoy uh, watching football matches. It's uh, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. Uh, the advantages of watching uh, sport on TV and these advantages: it's uh, cheaper, it's more comfortable and quieter. We can see the match clearly because of the qualities of modern media production. Oh, the disadvantages. The enthusiasm of sharing the audience and watching the players at the stadium is missing. Uh, so you miss you miss watching uh, you miss watching uh, the football players live, and sometimes you can take a photo with him. Or oh, sometimes an electric cut may stop us from watching. What a bad luck! When when the light went out or when the light goes uh, goes out, you cannot continue watching the match. Because of, uh, you've got an electric uh, cut, a carbatat. Here, how do you think different sports have been affected by television scheduling? 
the times of matches have been changed to match with the suitable times of TV programs. يعني وقت إذا وقت المباريات تغير حتى تناسب مع أوقات المناسبة اللي اللي عرضها على التلفزيون. أحيانا بيغير المباراة وقت المباراة مثلا بيكون ساعة مثلا ساعة مثلا ساعة كم ساعة واحد الظهر فبيضطروا يغيروها الوقت المفضل مش عدد المباراة أو مش عدد المباراة ساعة ثلاثة العصر أو الساعة سبعة أو الساعة ثمانية بالليل كمان توقيت المباراة مثلا لو مباراة دولية مثلا أو مباراة خارج البلاد مثلا مثلا زي ما قلت مصر الكويت واليابان والمباراة لعب في اليابان التوقيت مختلف هناك مثلا عندهم الساعة تسعة بالليل وهنا عند مثلا المباراة الساعة الساعة ثلاثة الفجر فطبعا مضطرين إن زي المباراة الفجر مباشر يا إما تفرج عليها مسجلة. Television scheduling has added to the popularity of different sports. بلك جدولة المباريات في التلفزيون أضاف الشعبية للمباريات أو للرياضات. أحيانا بتشوف إن كرة قدم أكثر شعبية عن كرة السلة عن كرة اليد لأنها بتزاع أكثر من المباراة الثانية أو الملاكمة أو أي لعبة من الألعاب الثانية. It has added more finance to the sports. إزاعة المباريات في التلفزيون أضاف تمويل أضاف ما أضاف أرباح ومكاسب للرياضة يعني مثلا نتيجة الإعلانات اللي بتزاع بين المباريات أو بين الأشواط الراعي الرسمي لمباراة معينة بينفق فلوس على الإعلانات فطبعا الأندية بتاخد دي نسبة من من الإعلانات. So it has added more finance to the sports. So what did we study today? We studied the relative pronouns. Uh, let's have uh, another exercise here. Do as shown between brackets. Join using who. Ask a question uh, using where or how long. Make negative. Can you see these uh, examples? Who can answer them? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, let's start with Kareem. Uh, this man saw the thieves, uh, they robbed uh, the bank. Uh, this man saw the thieves uh, who robbed the bank. Very good. Let him tell you, boys, that he is the thieves, he is the man. He is telling this man who. He is telling this man who. Because he is the first to the thieves. All this man saw the thieves who robbed the bank. I delete they. Thank you, Karim. Ahmed Majdi. A uh, form a question using where or using how long? Okay, uh, Where uh, has he lived for uh, three days? Very good. For three years. Yes. Where has he lived for three years? How long? Yusuf Mahmoud Shahata. How long? Uh, how long he has lived uh, in Paris? في خطأ غلطت فيه يوسف غلطت فيه يوسف أنت قلت how long he has ليه ما تقولش has he the auxiliary verb comes before the subject again يوسف uh, how long has he lived in Paris yes pay attention يوسف okay يوسف مختار as you say it make negative Yes, the government dispatched uh, 150 police to restore order. Negative. Again. Uh, the government uh, doesn't dispatch uh, 150 police to restore order. Yusuf, why do you use doesn't here? You have, What's the verb here? Which tense is it? Dispatch it. ED. Yusuf, you had the verb in the past. Symbol. Yusuf. Um, did you? Did it? Yes, again, Yusuf. The government didn't dispatch 150 police to restore order. Okay, very good. Thank you, Yusuf. Let's check the answers here. So, the first one this man saw the thieves who robbed the bank, as Karim said. How long has he lived in Paris? As your friend Yusuf Shahata said, how long has he lived in Paris? Ahmed Majdi said, where has he lived for three years? Yusuf, pay attention, make negative. Look at the verb here. This batch, this is the past simple tense. The government didn't dispatch. When do you use doesn't? The government doesn't dispatch. Okay, Yusuf, let's stop here. 
Uh, thank you so much. I really enjoyed teaching this lesson. Thank you me. are very excellent students. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you.